Alright, so today we're going to be going over Bleach Brave Soul facts you probably didn't know about. And this video is all thanks to Red Arazzle over on Reddit. They made this amazing post breaking down every single character in terms of killer, affiliation, attribute. It's a really good post and I will have it linked in the description below. And I recommend you guys check it out. But for today, let's actually go over and we can kind of relate it to the upcoming end of year banner because it does break down all the characters and stuff like that. And we can kind of have a look at if these end of year characters want to make a impact on the game or what. What attribute and killer combination do they actually need to have to make said impacts? So firstly, let's look at what attributes make up the most type of characters in the game. And your top three most common attributes are actually technique, mind, and also power. Uh, when it comes to the technique attribute, Soipers, Captains, Hollows, Humans, and also Quincy's have the most technique characters in the entire game. And what I also find interesting, but it really isn't a surprise, is that of course the most common affiliation is going to be Soipa, then second to Captain. Soipas at this moment in time make up 42.9% of the characters in the game, where Stamritters only make up 0.9%. Again, these numbers shouldn't really come as a surprise, but it's nice to see a number on it. Having 381 Soipas, it's actually kind of surprising. There are 39 no affiliation affiliation characters and again once more that makes sense right it's very rare for a character to be a no affiliation majority of the characters that are no affiliations are like movie characters novel characters and also burn the witch for example right hollows only having 46 characters is a tad bit sad to see mainly because majority of the hollows are, are in the game i believe probably every single one of them you know you're, you're a soiper so hollows are just a different type of soiper essentially it's still kind of sad i'm not sure if it's just me that we don't have any so single hollow character in the game like, maybe I'm in the minority, but I would kind of like to play as Grand Fisher. <laughs> At least me. I know many people would like to play as White, and I'm sure that will eventually come out, especially after watching the most recent anime episode. But when he does come out, he's probably just going to be a sorry for Hollow. I would actually like to play as literal just Hollows. And we had a chance to actually do that back in, like, what, 2018 of April? But everyone, myself included, unfortunately, voted for Lee Kimei. Because, I mean, come on, why didn't we? It's Lee Kimei, it's the meme. But moving on from that, we can actually look at in depth the numbers each individual number of the characters here in the game and again when it comes to the most characters in the game technique having a tad bit significantly more for the most part the numbers are very similar mind power and also speed almost having like one or two characters apart 125 124 and also 122 the heart attribute surprisingly being the least represented in the game only having 118 which isn't too far off compared to the other attributes but it definitely does like we need a tad bit more heart characters in the game and technique again having 127 so while it does like that technique characters have the most characters in the game it's not too far off again the numbers are very similar if we could just take a few technique characters and put them into the heart attribute the numbers would be basically almost even but interestingly enough having a look at the stem affiliation there's actually two characters in every attribute but the heart attribute where they have zero characters and i'm still holding out to this day that as not and also giselle are going to be the heart characters so maybe those are the two heart characters that the stem affiliation is missing but moving away from that, what we can look at now is the attack type and attack range distribution. So what we have here is in order. So we have 418 SP characters, 167 attack characters, and 31 hybrid characters. Now hybrid characters are having this number. One is surprising, but not surprising at the same time. I'm surprised there's that many hybrids. I thought there was significantly less, but it's also just sad to see that there aren't like that many hybrids in the game. Hybrid characters for the most part are a thing in the past. We don't really receive characters like that anymore nowadays characters i mean technically the closest thing to a hybrid character is chads but again he's more of a nad character right it would be nice to see in 2023 an actual hybrid character now caleb are always scared to make them a tad bit too op and that's the reason why they always failed hybrid characters would never come with frenzy or flurry and they would always have like low berserker or bruiser values and it would never make sense to use them over someone that just has frenzy or flurry at the same time the accessories in the game more so prioritize you being either one or another character an sp character or an attack character so that's why hybrid characters have never really had a chance to shine in this game but you know in 2023 i would love to see more hybrid characters and more accessories centered around being a hybrid character how could they do that i don't know i feel like getting flurry and also frenzy wouldn't be that bad of an idea maybe frenzy flurry and a somewhat decent berserker and bruiser value would be the way to push the hybrid meta 
I'd be down for that. I don't know if it's just me, but it definitely does look like that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> but looking at the fact that there's 418 SP characters making up 67.9% of the characters in the game, that also shouldn't come as a surprise, especially considering the fact that if I was to ask you who's your favorite character, I think majority of you lads will probably say an SP character. Because at least in my opinion, SP characters are just significantly more fun. And Caleb know that, and that's why they basically made significantly more SP characters compared to attack-based characters. I would assume that's mainly just because of the general playstyle of SP characters having significantly more range and more damage output, burst damage output, compared to attack-based characters, which really only get to shine in content like Brave Battles, Guild Quests, and also Epic Raids. But of course, there are a few standouts when it comes to attack-based characters, Jushiro, and also Fowls in your Blood War Eisen, being two of the best attack-based characters in the game, and I would definitely use them over sometimes an SP character because of how fun and fast they clear the content, for example. But moving away from that, surprisingly, we can actually have a massive imbalance when it comes to range and also mini characters having 229 range characters in the game versus 387 that's kind of a surprise to me just having a number on it but again thinking about it now it shouldn't really be a surprise i definitely prefer to play as ranged characters so i prefer my favorite characters to be ranged but at the same time considering that most of the characters in the game are Soripers, everyone uses Zanpakuto. Everyone is majority of the time going to be melee based compared to the ranged characters, which if we were to look at like every single ranged character in the game, I would assume majority of them are, you know, Quincy characters, seasonals, and maybe just like original characters, for example. Other than that though, moving on the overall list of characters here, 169 characters in the game are SP and ranged, 249 of the characters are SP and melee, whereas there are 55 attack ranged characters and 112 attack melee characters. Characters. And then again, looking at the hybrids, there are five ranged hybrid characters and 26 and 26 melee hybrid characters. Looking at it by attribute, what we can see here is again, the numbers are very similar across every single attribute, having like 80 plus in every single one. Interestingly enough though, Technique does have the least amount of SP characters, whereas they have significantly more attack based characters, having 41 compared to every other attribute that has around 31 to 33. So at least to me, looking at this list, it does look like that we need significantly more sp characters in the heart and also technique attribute i think in general just heart needs more characters now next up and this is probably the most interesting part of the video is the most common killers and can we use this data right here to try and predict what end of year is actually going to be so looking at the most common killers interestingly enough is that it's almost tied evenly right there's 162 striper killers in the game but there's also 162 aranka killers in the game and at the same time the hollow killer aren't too far behind having 159 characters. Hollow, Aronka, and Soipa are basically like the three most common killers. The majority of the characters have those. But it's kind of cool to see that it's almost even across the board. So that's kind of cool to look at. Other than those three though, Espada, Captain, and also no affiliation, like the second most common type of killer. And over the last couple of so years, that's starting to make a tad bit more sense. We started to get more content where those killers are more appropriate. Brave Battles, of course, you're going to see a lot of Captains and Espadas, for example. Guild Quest now has content where you can bring an SP character with Captain Killer. And then no affiliation, which originally back when it first came out maybe in the third anniversary that's now started to become a tad bit more common and we started to see more content which kind of want you to bring no affiliation killers and we're starting to see that nowadays too with the quincy killer while it's true there's only 12 characters in the game with quincy killer we're starting to see more quincy content so we're definitely going to start seeing more characters in the game with quincy killer and eventually it's not really going to be a bad thing but looking at every single attribute individually and looking at the killers they do have we can see here that when it comes to the sorry killer there's basically an even number of across the board with the exception of the speed attribute having a tad bit more striper killers and that is definitely seen across the entire community i think a lot of people will get annoyed when we see another speed character with striper killer at the same time though looking at the hollow killers in the game it does appear to no one's surprise is that the least represented killer in the heart attribute at least when it comes to the big free killers, is Hollow Killer, only having 27, whereas every other attribute has around 30 plus. Speed having 35, because there's an abundance of Hollow Killers for the speed attribute, which again is also a tad bit annoying, but focusing on the heart attribute, only having 27 is definitely sad to see. As of right now, for the heart attribute, the best holo killer in the game is probably the free to play Ichigo. Every time a new broken heart character comes out, we're all begging for it to be a holo killer because, again, it's the least represented and we can see the number here and it has yet to happen. There has been like three characters or four characters in the last three or so years that are holo killer 
in the heart attribute. And I think two of them are attack based. So when it comes to our next set of heart characters, one of them needs to have holo killer and they better be SP based. Additionally, when it comes to the holo killer in the speed attribute, probably should slow down a tad bit. Having 35 is a lot, especially considering that majority like the quote unquote best characters in the speed attribute are holo killer. I mean, the most recent Ogura is also another holo killer. So it's kind of annoying to see more really good speed characters all just be holo killer based. Especially when you actually look at the Aronka killers by attribute, there's a clear imbalance here when it comes to the speed attribute. Every attribute almost having very similar numbers. Heart, mind, and power having 32, 33, for example. Technique does have a tad bit too much Aronka killers having 37. Whereas the speed attribute only has 28. And again, that is definitely seen with the characters that we have recently gotten. One of the reasons why Azashi was one of the more exciting characters for the speed attribute back in April was because he was an Aronka killer. He was also a holo killer at the same time. But at the very least, he was an Aronka killer that was something that the speed attribute was lacking in. Then obviously, for the Sanfa anniversary, we got a better Aronka killer, and Oryu basically holds down the Aronka killer for the speed attribute, but it would still be nice to see us get a tad bit more speed Aronka killers, just to have a tad bit more representation and to even out that number. And then again, also chill out on the Aronka killers for the Technic attribute, instead give us a tad bit more Sorpa killers. So I guess since we looked at all these numbers, when it comes to the end of year banner, I would like to see a hot holo killer, that would be ideal a technique swiper killer and then at speed i would like to say another aranka killer but considering the fact that we're going to get a brave battle character for end of year and considering that speed is the most likely attribute to be that brave battle character i wouldn't be surprised if it's a speed captain killer or a speed no affiliation killer i don't know what they're going to do but when it comes to the next brave battle character speed is most likely going to be the attribute to receive said brave battle character but with that said, lads, that was the video for today. Going over, I guess, the character distribution in the game. It's interesting to see numbers like this. And I really appreciate that there are passionate Bleach Bracer players out there that are willing to put in the work. Again, massive shout out to Red Razzle over on Reddit. I will have a link in the description below. And let me know what you lads think about this information in the comments below. So as I said, hope you lads enjoyed the video. I'll see you lads next time. Take care and peace.